Hello, Kyle Orland from Ars Technica here with a first look at the Oculus Rift. This is the final consumer version that's quite an upgrade from the development kits that we've been using for quite a few years now. As you can see, it's roughly the same size, uh, feels about the same weight in our hands. The main differences are stylistic and comfort-wise. On the DK2, you can see this thick ski goggle style strap. It's been replaced with a nice firm strap here. You can see the included headphones. So the first step when you open up the Rift is to adjust these little Velcro straps here. You can move them in and out based on the size of your head. There's also one on the top, which is just a big Velcro strap, really. Comes up and then in, very solid. Uh, you don't have to do this every time you want to adjust the Rift. As you can see, there's quite a bit of springy give, which lets you adjust it just by putting it on. And really, it is quite easy to put on, especially compared to development kits. In fact, you can do it one-handed. Goes on just like that. And then comes off just as easily. Slide it on just like a baseball cap. Now once it's on here, I can actually tilt the headset up and down quite easily. About a centimeter or so, I'd say. That helps you adjust the focus when you're looking at things in the Rift. It also adjusts the comfort of it pushing against your head and the amount of light that's let in through here if you want to see a little bit of your surroundings. Right now if I look down I can see my hands, I can reach for the keyboard here, I can see a controller over here. I don't have to take off the headset to just get a general idea of where I am, but if I put it closer to my face, a little of that gets closed off if you want the fully immersive experience. As you can see the included headphones are on a little pivot here. You can slide them in and out for more comfort when you're putting it on. You can slide them up and down and forward and back as well. The material on the headphones itself is a nice and springy cushion. And and when you put it on, as you can see, it's easy to very very easy to slide them right over your ears or if you need to listen to something, just slide them away. Oh, hi honey, what's that? You need me to take out the trash? No, sorry, I'm floating around in space. These are not over the ear headphones, but they have a nice directionality to them. doesn't seem to leak too much sound. And it's just a lot nicer to have to put on the headset and have the headphones right there instead of having to fumble around with a whole other pair of headphones, which uh, would have a wire going to the computer as well. Speaking of the wire, you have the cord now going off to the side. On the development kits, this kind of went over the top here. Now it goes over to the side. You don't really notice it. Uh, on the top of your head. You can feel it when you're moving your head around the wire here. It's relatively light wire, especially compared to the knot of cables that we had with the development kit, or especially with the Vive Pre, which is a very thick cable. Right on the bottom here, it's a little interpupillary distance adjustment. You slide that in and out. That's the distance between your pupils here, which is very important for adjusting the focus to your comfort and as you can see when I play with that you can see the lens is actually moving left and right. Also one thing to note instead of the head of the hard plastic inside the original development kits there's now a springy nylon where your nose goes it makes it much more comfortable to rest on the bridge of your nose. I'll also note on the back here it's a little triangle that lets you track the oculus rift even when you turn your head completely 180 degrees around the tracking camera, which is right there, off the screen, will be able to see me. So that's a little introduction to the final consumer Oculus Rift. Overall, very comfortable. Had no problem keeping it on for hours. You don't quite forget that it's there, but it's not a nuisance to wear it. You don't feel like you need to take it off. It's also much more breathable, I found, than the old development kits. Don't get that sweaty face anymore. There's more airflow, I feel and uh, not so much heat right on my face at all times. Definitely less nasal pressure as well compared to old units. Anyway, that's it. Very nice piece of design.